U.S. Navy Commander Chris Cassidy is a native of Salem, Massachusetts, who grew up in York, Maine, on the Atlantic coast. He was aware of the space program as a young boy, but admits he wasn't particularly interested. I was just like every other boy. I mow mowed lawns, had a couple odd jobs in restaurants and things in the summertime, but that was all to really pay my gas to drive to the basketball court. Cassidy left York after high school, first for a year at the Naval Academy Prep School, and then on to Annapolis, where he earned a bachelor's in mathematics. Next stop was San Diego to begin training in special operations as a Navy SEAL. After four years stationed in Virginia, he earned a master's in ocean engineering at MIT. And about that time, he became aware of a fellow Navy SEAL who'd had a similar career arc to his, astronaut Bill Shepard. So one day I actually met him or called him and uh, we had a, he gave me some great information and I thought, you know what, that sounds really a, like a really fun job. I think I'd like to do that. So I was probably 26 or 27 when the first and the idea first popped into my head. Cassidy applied, but didn't get the call from NASA. The next year, just weeks after September 11th, the SEAL platoon he commanded did get the call, and he was deployed to the Afghanistan region before the 1st of October. He returned home to another posting in Virginia, and he was selected for the astronaut program in 2004, just days after coming home from a second deployment to Afghanistan. Cassidy made three spacewalks on his first trip to the International Space Station on the 2009 space shuttle mission that delivered the components to complete construction of the Kibo Laboratory Complex. He's enthusiastic about his part in laying the groundwork for some future generation of Earthlings to fulfill their destiny to find a new home in space. But there'll be a time when there'll be people living on other planets. And it's the work, the hard work that we're doing right now, all of us across the globe, that are going to set the stage for, for that type of environment. Just like Christopher Columbus set sail one day across the ocean. And thanks to those great explorers, we live the life that we do today.